Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. This isn't good. This is not good. This is really, really not good. All right. I can see the air traffic control tower. He's guiding me in. He's guiding me in. He's telling me to slow down a little bit. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back with the futuristic military base. And today, we're going to be looking at some more turrets, setting some turrets down on this air defense plateau here. And we're also going to be looking at potential air traffic control towers for the air base over there, because we do not have an air traffic control tower, which is very concerning considering we already have an air base. But as you can see, I have already laid down the primary center turret of this island. And I've enabled it to be able to articulate in both directions. Uh, thanks to help from some of you in the comments, some of you mentioned that I could just attach the engine to a seat. The seat doesn't use any uh, W or S controls. So if we just attach the engine to the seat, then W and S will actually control the, uh, the turret back and forth, just like this. So check this out. We have a fully working, uh, fully articulating 360 degrees of motion turret right here. All right. Oh, let's go into first person. Check this out. Check this out. All right. So this is going to be the centerpiece. Now, one of the things that you have to remember now that this isn't on the turning bearing and it's actually on an, uh, a 360 degree engine is that before you get out, you have to reset it at zero degrees here because in order to get out of this thing, whoops, you actually have to put your cockpit down first, but you have to be able to open the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. This isn't good. This is not good. This is really, really not good. Oh no, what have we done? This is a big problem. Um, I don't know why this app. What? The seat. How did it get all the way up there? Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to get out of this thing. And we're going to take a look at what's happening. Wait, how did this happen? I was lined up perfectly. I, I swear. I was lined up perfectly. And now, okay. Uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, because this, this whole thing is welded to the ground right now. Like, everything is welded to the ground. So there's no easy way to put this on a lift and uh, detach this thing. And I have no idea why this just happened. Um, but what I'm going to do is delete this block right here, I hope. If I even can reach it. Did I delete it? No, I deleted something else. Okay, delete the block. There we go. Now I should be able to put this on a lift. Man, I don't know what just happened. I don't understand. So I guess I'm going to attempt to uh, re-weld this back on, I guess. I'm just going to find the center point. But yeah, what I was saying is that you have to, uh, you have to put it back to its zero point, otherwise it glitches out. But apparently, putting it back to its zero point is no guarantee either. So I'm gonna be very hesitant to use this thing. Alright, so let's see. Is that- Oh, no! <laughs> what is wrong with this? I don't under- Oh, no! Where is it going? Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, 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 oh, okay, I'm just trying to, I'm just, I'm just trying to, to get this, I just need to put a bearing here, there we go, and we just need to weld this thing up here again, all right, and weld, all right, so now we need to, uh, I guess, do we hook this up to there? Okay, I think we might be good to go, we just gotta hook up this engine back up to here and the seat and now we should hopefully have a working turret again okay all right everything seems to work okay so now i just gotta put it back to a zero point right here so that way when we press this button we can just get out and everything's perfect. Nice and dandy. Okay. All right. We're just not going to touch that for a little while. All right. We're, yeah, we're just not going to touch that. Oh, man. That makes me really nervous for any, uh, 
Any future additions we make to the future military base might be ruined by this thing if that happens again. But at least we know that uh, we should just be able to detach it from the base and it should be okay. But anyway, let's take a look at, there was a couple of, the reason why I, I want to revisit turrets before putting anything else down is because there's actually been a couple of new turret submissions since the last episode. So I want to see if uh, there's any of those that we want to add to this island over here. All right, so we have the Siege Turret by Gibbs, a one-man turret that uses a mammoth fortress gun modified to have a laser sight to help with aiming. So let's build this thing in here and see what this thing's all about. Ooh, this is kind of sleek looking. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, we got a nice door here. Just like a, what is it? Is this, is this the control room? Do we control it from here or does it like elevate us up? Oh, okay. We're closed inside now. Number two. Oh, there we go. All right, this is it, I think. And that, can we turn? Oh. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool. And we can go up and down. Oh, look how it articulates. That's cool. Like, it's not the whole head. It's just that one section, which is, that's pretty neat. All right, I like this. This is a pretty sweet design. It's simple, it's sleek, and it's effective. All right, let's take a look. There was a couple more that you guys had submitted as well. The only problem is I can't get out of here. The seat doesn't let me get out. All right, we're gonna have to just do this. All right, here's another interesting looking one. It's another tower based one, kind of like this. And it looks like it's actually made by the same person. So we were considering putting this one as like a elevated turret by like some other areas of our base. So this is another possibility as well. So this is uh, the 2.0 apparently, FMB turret, FMB turret 2.0. All right, the controls are a little bit complicated. I'm gonna see if I can remember everything that it just told me, but uh, it hopefully we don't mess it up. Was it? Oh, there's, a, there's an elevator. Oh, oh I, 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 I confused it. All right, number one, we should be going up. Okay, ooh, it it circles us as it goes up. That's pretty fun. We get to see the whole thing. I like the design a lot. All right, so I'm just gonna go through the numbers, see what happens. Okay, oh, look at that. Oh, this is interesting. All right, I think we get an understanding. So we can fire and control the small cannons independently, but when the small cannons go up to the big cannon, then we can press number six, and now you can see that big cannon shoots vertically into the air, and I think we can now control everything at once with that activated. So that is actually pretty cool. And then what we can do is we can reset the big cannon to be vertical, Oop. like this, and then we should be able to press number six, and now we're back to just, whoops, wrong button, just the small cannons. Okay, and apparently nine and zero are supposed to allow us to turn back and forth, but that's not working right now. So that's the only downside is for some reason the turning doesn't appear to be working. But despite that, this is a really interesting concept with having a major cannon with some smaller cannons and having different modes activating the major cannon and separating the smaller cannons and then like it, everything gets controlled at once. Oh, interesting. So it actually, we actually cannot control the big cannon unless the small cannons are touching the big cannon. Look at that, because now I can control the big cannon, but if I separate the smaller cannons, oh wow, that's interesting. Once I activate the bigger cannon, then I can't even control the smaller cannons independently. So th this is a that's a really cool system. So it actually locks everything in together and I actually have to separate it manually. That's pretty cool. All right, I think we have one or two more turrets to look at. All right, so this is almost like a turret base here. This is by Zeno. It looks like it even has some vehicles like built into it as well. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, we got FMB all over the side. What is this? What, is that supposed to be there? I think that might've made a mistake. We got FMB all over the sides here. Oh, what is, uh, uh, what's happening here? What is happening here? It looks like we got some, some, uh, some like ATVs or something. Let's check out these ATVs for a sec. Oh, is that supposed to detach? I, th I think we might have an issue. Wait, does this one detach? Wait, what? Well, what is going on here? Is that touching? Maybe if I get inside? Uh, what's holding this thing up? I am just a little bit confused as to what is holding this thing up in the air. Like, that is all clear right in front. What if I put a block on it? Okay. Like, it's all clear down the bottom. Oh. 
I think these surface pieces with the FMB are actually conflicting. Oh, there it goes. Found it. Okay. So we accidentally attached them to those surface pieces there. But yeah, check these out. It's like a futuristic ATV. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. Oh, oh. The wheelbase might be a little bit small, but... <laughs> Alright, let's get into this turret and see what this turret's all about. Woo! Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right, so interesting details with the uh, the boxes and the pallets and stuff. Even this one's on an angle. Nice little uh, attention to detail there. All right, how do we get inside this thing? We go in here. Okay. Close the door. What's this? The control panel? All right. What we got over here? What's that? Oh! Hey, it's our map. We got a map of our map. <laughs> oh, we got the ducks. We got the... Oh! We got FMB, Devarite, Ar Arcturi. Oh, they, sh they should be ARC instead of ART. And the Aneri. And they all have their own duck colors. The four alien leaders. So is is the entire is is this entire world a world run by ducks now? Like even even the even the human the humans are ducks with top hats. Whoa! Look at all these controls. This is a uh, this is quite the control panel here. All right, let's see, uh, whoops. Is everything attached to this seat? Yeah, this looks, looks like this is the main seat here. All right, so number one. Oh, okay. All right, number two. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, they kind of hit me though. Ugh. 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 <laughs> All right, number, oh, okay, number four. There we go. This is more like it. This is more like it. All right, number five. Whoa, check that out. All right, number six. Oh, and they turn. Number seven. I don't know what seven is doing. Hold on, let me turn off the gunfire. Oh, we got laser sight. Oh, number seven's the map. That's interesting. We could use number seven to control the map on the inside. All right, well, this is a nice little, like, like a turret control room here. So this feels like something that's more of a standalone thing. Maybe not for this uh, island itself, but somewhere else. Okay, then we have one more left, which is the... FMB Railgun by Brogar Gaming. So this thing looks pretty interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's got some sound on it as well. Let's see what it's going to be doing here. All right. Looks like we got some full articulation all around, up and down. All right. Now let's, it's got one button. That's all we got. Here we go. Holy crap. Whoa. I was a little bit confused there because, uh, whoa, it was, uh, it was taking a little bit. It takes a long, it takes a while to charge up. Let me try. I'm going to try this again. All right. Hold on a sec. Let's, let's turn over here. Let's see what's going on. You can hear it charge up. And then it just has that massive, massive shot. Does it keep going? If I just hold, if I just keep the button on. It looks like it does. And that's an epic sound, too. Alright, then we can turn it off, I think. Oh, it looks like it takes a little while to cool down, too. Oh, oh, it, it goes even more. Okay, well, that was unexpected. I did not think it was gonna be... I did not think it was gonna take that long. Oh, we got some first person here with, uh, with the site as well. Here, let's charge it up again. Here we go, we're charging up. There it is. All right. So that's a pretty epic weapon. Very, very slow, but sounds very, very powerful. It's one of those cost benefit type things. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be a little bit more careful with my welding because I'm going to actually make sure all of my turrets are going to be one block above the ground so that I can uh, detach them easily if we need to make some adjustments. What I'm going to try to do is place a couple more turrets around the island Maybe not everything that we're going to have, but I'm going to place four of these on like the four corners of the island, like kind of coming out from the center. And we may place a couple more turrets other than these. But uh, then after that, we're going to take a look at some control towers and see what we can put on the air base. But I kind of want to get some of these uh, turrets situated here and see if we can see if we can see what the island looks like when it's uh, well armed. So what I'm thinking about is... Uh, Going kind of closer to the edge, like at a 45 degree angle out from each corner here. So like right here would be a turret. The tough thing is going to be making them look like somewhat symmetrical. Actually, now that I look at it, I could probably just draw a line. 
Yeah, I could just do something like this. You know what? I think we're gonna do this. It's, it's gonna be a little bit tedious, but I think this is gonna be worth it to keep the symmetry. So I'm just gonna draw this diagonal out until I get over to that thing, and then we're gonna draw a square around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have them down. So now let's just get an aerial view and see what this looks like with just these five turrets on here. I mean, this looks pretty massive already. Like, this looks like a lot. It's like, this looks like a pretty intimidating island right now, I gotta admit. Check that out. And I think it looks pretty symmetrical, too. All right. Yeah, so all of these turrets have full 360 degree articulation. You can aim up and down. So I think this is a, a pretty formidable defense point right here. And of course, they're going to put some turrets over here surrounding this base as well. We could probably put some of the taller, like, tower base turrets on these ones. Whoa, it's really bright in this particular corner. That particular corner, for some reason, is very, very bright. Why is that so much brighter? All right, anyway, so I think that's a good start to the uh, to the turret island. So let's, uh, let's, uh-oh. Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, I got this. We got this. No problem. There we go. So let's take a look at some air traffic control towers now and see what we can do for our military, I mean, I mean our aircraft island, our air base. All right, so we have a couple of different ones to choose from. So let's take a look at, through some of them and see which one we're gonna settle with. So here's one by Original Sinner. So let's take a look at how this one looks. All right, nice. It's, it's a relatively small one, relatively compact. So let's go ahead and uh, get up in the elevator here, I guess. Very tiny elevator. I feel a little bit claustrophobic in this thing. Okay, let me clear my inventory. All right, and here we are at the top in <laughs> these windows. What is wrong with these windows? You can't see out these windows. This is terrible for an air traffic control tower. All right, what does this button do? Okay, okay. all right. Wait, look at these little tiny seats. Look at the little seats. Whoop. Wait, can we- these are actual seats? We can sit on them? <laughs> Alright, and we have- it sounds like there's an- oh yeah, we have an articulating, uh, dish up there as well. Alright, so this is the one by Original Center. Let's take a look at what other ones we got. Oh, I just realized there's a bathroom! There's a bathroom floor with a duck in it. I didn't even- I didn't even notice that the first time on my way up. This one looks like a huge one from Lude, Lud 2004. Okay, oh, this even has some- some vehicles with it. Alright, it's all- a, uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because I feel like it would be laggier if it was in complete contact with the ground. Look at this. This is actually a really nice looking ATV. Let's see if this one detaches from the wall. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get on here. Check this thing out. Oh, oh, we're in first person. All right, let's look at this. This is a cool ATV. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I had a feeling that that was gonna happen. All right, but I gotta admit, this is, this is a really well designed ATV. Uh, it's just, it, I think vehicles that are this small tend to just have a really terrible time turning in scrap mechanic. It looks super cool either way. All right, let's check out the actual control tower. That's the whole point of this thing, is the control tower. All right, how do we, how do we get up into it? Oh, maybe using the front doors might be the best way to do that. Okay, it looks like we can call the elevator. Whoa, it's a fast elevator. Is it gonna shoot me up that fast? Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, 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 it shot me off. It shot me off. That is a really fast elevator. Uh, can we adjust the speed a little bit? I'm just gonna adjust the speed down just a tiny little bit. All right, and up we go. Okay, that's not really that much better. All right, and here we are. I like the I like the the pointy crown thing on top of it, but uh, we can actually see out of this one, so that's a bonus. However, this one doesn't have any control panels or like uh, monitors or anything, so I don't know if this is like an air traffic control tower or just like a tower. But look at the view that we have from up here. This might just be a cool lookout tower. I like this. But uh, not quite what I'm looking for for the aircraft base, though. So let's see what else we have to choose from. Okay, up next, this this looks like a pretty good uh, control tower here. This is by AJX40. And apparently this also uh, uses a satellite dish by another one of you guys, uh, some patty. All right, so wow. Oh, this is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get up in. Got the door. Ooh, we got a big, looks like this whole floor rises up. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh wow. We even have like multiple stations here. It looks like it's completely symmetrical. Is anything actually hooked up? Looks like we got something hooked up to 
that's hooked up to here. Oh, okay. That's just that just has the this uh this desk is turned is tilted a little bit towards the towards the operator. All right, this is I think this is it. This is the control tower. Oh wait, can we see? I can't see the uh the dish on. There's the dish. There's the dish right there. All right, we're gonna take a quick look at this dish. There we go. Check it out. I think this is actually the same dish that was used in the prison that we looked at a while ago, um, but we couldn't see that because the description didn't load uh, on the object in the game as opposed to on the workshop. All right, so now we just need to get back down. Oh, we're, we trapped ourselves. We trapped ourselves on top of the uh, on top of the control tower. So out of all the control towers I've seen, I think this one seems to fit the aesthetic that I was looking for the best. It has um, oop. it has a nice clear viewing platform and it has uh, control panels in there, even though they don't actually do anything, but there's nothing that control panels could do in Scrap Mechanic as far as like an aircraft control island, unless we had some like some beacons or something, but I don't really think that's necessary. All right, so I'm looking around to figure out where we can put this control tower and it's kind of hard to find a suitable spot, to be honest. Like everything kind of ha it has some interference that I don't like this area. Uh, I don't know here. Let's get up and let's get an aerial view and consider it, consider this a little bit more seriously. I mean, it doesn't look bad right there. And right there, it's a little bit farther away from the, the bridge. So we could do that here. Let's go a little bit further away from the, from the aircraft island and see what we can see. I think that could work, to be honest. I mean, the game's really laggy right now because it's not welded to the ground. But I think that might work. The only thing I don't like about this position, and I don't really see any solution to this, is that it kind of blocks that particular staircase a little bit. So yeah, if I weld it like right in this corner, it's kind of like, if you come down this staircase, it kind of blocks your path, but not exactly. Like, it's not completely, you could just come up here. So I, I don't think it's that bad. So I'm thinking about just welding it right as close to this corner as I can. And you know what? I'm actually debating, should we have the staircase on this side? Or maybe we should have the staircase on here. Because then you actually get up into the control tower from the tarmac. That might make a little bit more sense. Okay, so I should be able to weld the staircase perfectly in here. The only thing is this is gonna, it's gonna be a little bit leggy when I first weld it because uh, it's gonna make this attached to the solid piece that is this entire runway, but hopefully it's not gonna make things any more laggy than they have to be. Oh no, oh no, I hit the, I hit my weld tool against the tarmac. Okay, all right, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bit of a process, but I hope I measured everything out correctly and I should be able to put the weld point right at this corner if I can do it. Come on, show me the weld point. This is tough. This is really tough. I'm trying to move my mouse up and down, but I get one frame every like five seconds. I'm just trying to aim at this corner right here. Come on, Scrap Man, you can do it. Nice and gentle. Almost. Oh, wait, does it not fit? <gasps> there we go. We have white. I'm going to wait for one more frame to register. Okay, and now I'm going to try to weld it. Okay, I think it welded. That took me about maybe five or six minutes of just constant uh, trying to weld. So the only thing I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to fill in the bottom here, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I do kind of like the fact that it uh, you can enter from the actual tarmac rather than having to go around behind it. And also that frees up a little bit more space in back here to anybody coming off of that staircase that wants to go around this way. So let me just fill this in really quick and then we're going to take a look at uh, how it actually looks. All right, here we go. I have it all filled in. That actually took a lot longer than I thought. Circles are not a fun thing to deal with. It's <laughs> mechanic. But anyway, here it is. Here is the air traffic control tower. So let's uh, let's get in our plane over here and let's let's see if it works. All right, here we go. We are taking off. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, we are taking off. <laughs> that wasn't the smoothest takeoff. But we're going to do a nice fancy flight underneath this archway over here. Just like that. Oh, oh boy. Get, go, oh, don't hit the tr- Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, I can see the air traffic control tower. He's guiding me in. He's guiding me in. He's telling me to slow down a little bit. Put down the landing gear. Oh, oh, boy. oh, no. Oh, hold on. Oh, boy. oh. Uh. Mm. 
Nailed it. All thanks to my fancy new air traffic control tower. If it wasn't for them, there's no way I would have made that landing. Oh, okay. We're just going to put this back in the, uh, back in the hangar now. All right. Well, I think that looks pretty good. And I think it's going to be pretty effective, as you can clearly see by the ultimate effectiveness of uh, guiding me in there. Okay, so now here's where I pass it off to you. What do you want to see in the next episode? Uh, do you want to see me work more inside of the military walls? Uh, if so, what should we be putting in there? We have like the HQ in there right now. Um, I was thinking like maybe we should work on some barracks. Uh, maybe some... Just what, what's going to be on the surface of the military base? I know that underneath we're going to have things like a research lab and a power core and things like that but uh, we should probably have some things on the surface other than the headquarters. So let me know what your thoughts are on that, or we could do another alien-themed episode where we look at some alien spaceships and things like that, or just some, some vehicles overall, because I don't tend to look at vehicles as much when I'm working on the base. So what would you guys prefer in the next episode? Uh, leave a comment, and if you see a comment that agrees with you, like it so it makes its way up to the top, and I'll use that to guide what we do next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.